Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Alan from Premiere Pro Tips and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to produce this shutter effect that um, I'm going to show you right here. So of course this could be a video or a title like I did. Um, but so if you want to produce like a Kanye West music video and have like a shutter effect like that then I'll show you guys how to do it. So. I'm going to delete all this and we're going to start from scratch. So what you're going to want to do is, first of all, you want to drag and drop whatever you want to apply the shutter effect to. So for my instance, it's just this title that I created. Now uh, what we do for the shutter effect is you have the video or image and then you have black space. So what you want to do is first go to the beginning and uh, depending on how fast you want the shutter to be, if you want it to be like really fast and choppy, then you're gonna want to work on a, uh, I would say either a two or a three frame, um, I, I'm not even sure the word for it, but you guys will see what I mean in a second. Um, you're gonna want your intervals to either be two or three frames, and then if you want it to be a slower shutter, you're gonna want to do like a five or six frame interval. However, don't go with a, uh, you don't want there only to be a one frame interval because if you do that, then our eyes aren't fast enough to pick it up. Um, our eyes will just see it as, uh, you won't even see the shutter effect because our eyes can't pick it up that fast. Okay, so first of all, we want to start at the very beginning, like I said, and you're going to want to grab your razor tool. So the uh, desktop, or desktop, the uh, keyboard shortcut is C. So we go to the beginning and then we're going to want to proceed however many steps. So like I said, um, like a two or three um, two or three frame interval is for a fast one, so for this one we'll do a fast one. But then if you wanted it to be a short, or a, uh, I'm sorry, if you wanted it to be a slow shutter, then you would go with a five or six interval. Or actually we can just do both. So I'm gonna cut it in half, that's what we'll do. I'll show you how to do both. A slow one and a fast one. I got the time to show you guys. Alrighty, so in this first one we're going to do a fast one. So, I'm going to go to the beginning, I'm going to press C to bring out my eraser tool, and then on my keyboard I'm going to press the right arrow and I'm going to press it two, um, two times. So what that does is it proceeds at two frames on the timeline, and then I'm going to use the razor, razor tool and I'm going to cut right on the, right on the point where the uh, marker is. I'm then going to use the arrow key again, move two frames forward, cut, two frames, cut, two frames, cut, two frames, cut, two frames, cut, just like so. Until you're at the end, until you just want the shutter to end. Okay. So here's the first part. And then what we want to do is we want it to go on and off, on and off, on and off. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose every other one and delete it. So we're going to save the first one and then using the selection tool, shortcut is V. I'm going to click it and I'm going to press the delete button on my keyboard. Another way to do it is to right click and just press clear, but that way is a lot slower than just clicking and pressing delete on the keyboard. So I'm going to click on every other one as you can see me doing right here. And that gives us the shutter effect. So Next, I'm going to move to the other one that um, we're going to do the slow shutter on. So, I'm going to go to the very beginning of that one. I'm going to use the razor tool once again, and I'm going to proceed six, um, six frames. So, using the keyboard once again, I'm going to press the right arrow key six times. One, two, oops. Got to make sure that you're on the, uh, on the timeline there. I wasn't, so I just clicked it to make sure that this is highlighted. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to cut it on the marker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cut it again. And just keep on doing this. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty. So here we have our pieces. Um, I'm actually going to just for the sake of the video, I'm going to pretend like this was longer so you guys get a better idea of it. Alrighty, so here we have the shutter. 
for the long one. So just like before, we're going to grab the selection tool and we're going to select every other one and delete it. And uh, like I said earlier, this can be done with videos or pictures. Okay, so we're going to play it from the beginning. So as you can see, like just with the size of it, these ones obviously look smaller because they're faster and shorter. So I'm going to play it. So there's that fast shutter and then the slow shutter. So you're probably going to be going with like the, the fast one for that effect because it looks a little better. So yeah, go with like a two or three frame shutter depending on the speed that you want it and then just delete the pieces that you don't want in there. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, leave them on my Facebook page, which I will link in the description. Also, feel free to leave comments, and I'll get back with you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to su subscribe. My name is Alan from Premier Pro Tips, and have a great day, guys.